How steam engines work? Steam engines were the first engine type to see widespread use. They were first invented by the Thomas Newcomen in 1705 and the James Watt, who we remember each time we talk about 60 watt light bulbs and the such, made big improvements to the steam engine in 1769. Steam engines powered all early lo locomotives, steamboats and factories and therefore acted as a foundation of the Industrial Revolution. And now we will learn exactly how the steam engine works. Steam engine operation. The following diagram shows the major components of a piston steam engine. This sort of engine would be typical in a steam locomotive. The engine shown is a double acting steam engine because the valve allows high pressure steam to act alternately on both faces of the piston. See that the slide valve is in charge of letting the high pressure steam into either side of the cylinder. The control rod for the valve is usually hooked into a linkage attached to the crosshead so that the motion of the crosshead slides the valve as well. On a steam locomotive this linkage also allows the engineer to put the train into a reverse. You can see in this diagram that the exhaust steam simply vents out into the air. This fact explains two things about steam locomotives. First, it explains why they have to take on water at the station. The water is constantly being lost through the steam exhaust. Second, it explains where the choo-choo sounds come from. When the valve opens the cylinder to release its steam exhaust, the steam escapes under a great deal of pressure and makes a chew sound as it exists. When the train is first starting, the piston is moving very slowly, but then, as the train starts rolling, the piston gains speed. The effect of this is the choo 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 that we hear when it starts moving. On a steam locomotive, the crosshead normally links to a drive road, and from there to coupling roads that drive the locomotive's wheels. In this diagram, the crosshead is connected to a drive road that connects to one of three drive wheels for the train. The three wheels are connected via coupling roads, so they turn it unison. Boilers The high pressure steam for a steam engine comes from a boiler. The boiler's job is to apply heat to water to create steam. There are two approaches, fire tube and water tube. A fire tube boiler was more common in the 1800s. It consists of a tank of water perforated with pipes. The hot gases from a coal or wood fire run through the pipes to heat the water in the tank as shown here. In a fire tube boiler, the entire tank is under pressure, so if the tank bursts, it creates a major explosion. More common today are water tube boilers, in which water runs through a rack of tubes that are positioned in the hot gases from the fire. The following simplifying diagram shows you a typical layout for a water tube boiler. In a real boiler, things will be much more complicated because the goal of the boiler is to exact every possible bit of heat from the burning fuel to improve efficiency. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.